Here is some of the reasons why I think customers decide to decrease their tip on Uber Eats. Number one, their food comes later than expected. Number two, missing items in their sealed bag. Number three, put a large tip in only to take it away minutes after they received their order. Number four, they felt like it. Number five, the app gives them the option to increase or decrease the tip they decide to decrease it. Now, none of these, in my opinion, deserve for a customer to reduce or even take away their tips. Now, because Uber gives them the option to do that, there are very, very few reasons why I think customers might be justified in taking their tip away. That can include their food being tampered with, the customer, sorry, the driver being extremely rude to the customer, they're taking an exorbitant amount of time to drop it off. There are other things you can do instead of decreasing their tip, such as reporting the, the driver, giving them a one-star rating, and um, maybe asking for Uber Eats to give them some kind of a refund if their food is tampered with. So let me know if you agree with my list, and I am going to start doing my deliveries, so it is 3.30 now and let's see if we get some customers who um, will actually maybe increase the tip but maybe we get something good. So we're gonna go DoorDash and Uber Eats and let's get going. First order is a DoorDash Earn by Time. It's 3.40 so just that'll do Earn by Time for a little bit because um, not many people usually order at this time and I'm gonna do a test to see because you know the big topic of course is uh, uh, tipping on these apps and as a driver, yes, I do believe customers should leave a tip and a lot of times customers feel that a tip isn't warranted until after the service is complete and we know that tip is to ensure promptness. However, you are tipping someone to make sure you get your food and your uh, driver is using their own vehicle, they are using their own uh, you know, gas, wear and tear on their car. So I did a little experiment a couple of days ago where I did a couple of earn by time orders and they were very long miles, so. And I, sorry, I uh, communicated with the customer both the there's two cars. Both the customers apologized for the delay, and um, brought them their food in a hot bag. Luckily, the two customers uh, were meet at the at the door, uh, smiled, gave them a, a you know friendly, you know just being as professional as possible. First customer gave me a five dollar tip. Second customer told me she was going to increase. I'm sorry, she told me she was gonna add a tip on the app, it was a McDonald's order. Sure enough, she did, so I definitely appreciated that. So I thought, hmm. Now, I don't recommend this, and I'll probably get a lot of backlash, and you really shouldn't do this. I would only recommend if you do this to make sure you're on earned by time to at least try to get a better base pay. Uh, use up as much time as possible doing these apps, meaning don't rush to the restaurant, don't take your time either, but you know, take your time. If the restaurant's busy, that's okay. And make sure your miles are low. So it worked two times and um, and then there's just gonna be some customers who have decided that they're just not gonna tip. So my first order is l and Barbecue, um, again on DoorDash, and it's 2.9 miles. And it says the, the um, hourly is going to be 13. 1325 I can't remember and it, you know as we know it's active time not just dash time so good way to increase your uh, acceptance you know that's always been a, a hot topic you know in this um, you know, feel this work that we do so you know if you if you got a little bit of time and you're willing to just uh, try it out 
see what happens so anyways i will do the experiment for you guys and um we're here at l and l so we're gonna grab the order and then bring it to the customer all right heading into l and l barbecue i am going to predict that the order is ready because um more than likely they didn't tip thank you The likelihood of that customer increasing their tip is pretty slim. It was they leave at the door, but she did meet me outside and she was probably 16. So, but I was professional, had her food in the hot bag, delivered with a smile, and yeah, like I said, the likelihood of her increase in the tip is gonna be pretty slim. Usually if they're gonna do it, they're gonna say something. She didn't seem to have any issues with her putting 0, 0.00 on the tip. So I might have to abort this um, experiment because yeah, it was $2 a mile. So, uh, so that's okay. But when you deliver to a no, no tip customer, and they do have the option to increase it after and they're not going to. Somebody like that doesn't deserve their food. I'm sorry, they don't deserve it. They don't deserve for somebody to deliver it. Now, by all means, pick it up yourself. Absolutely, put a tip in. You definitely deserve your order then. But yeah, like I said, with this, doing this, you're gonna only wanna do it when the miles are really low, really low so you're not wasting too much time and hopefully getting uh, a, a order as quick as possible right after so we'll see if I continue but um, I might be um, going back to earn my offer so and going back on and going on Uber Eats so okay let's head over to the gas station because I need to buy gas and let's see what wings up once just received it was a wings restaurant seven dollars four miles um easy drop off easy pickup so uh customer is not going to increase their tip because on uber eats if they're if you are going to get an increase in tip and god forbid they don't decrease their tip but if you're going to get an increase in the tip it's usually when the order comes out as eight dollars or more usually around 850 i think and especially anything above 10. Um, so it'll probably just stay at 750, but 750 for farm miles isn't bad. And um, we're gonna go on Rondor Dash, we're gonna go back on Uber Eats, and we're gonna see what we get. It is five o'clock, so you know, people should be ordering, and I should be getting them. <laughs> Let's go. Uber keeps trying to send me this 26 mile order for $14 for Taj Palace, which is right across the street. So no, not doing that. But I will do this order, Grimaldi's, 
right here on the parking lot that I'm in, $10, two miles. Took me a bit to get um, any, uh, well, a, a decent order. I was getting quite a few offers on Uber, very little on um, DoorDash, but they were just not worth taking. So this is definitely an accept, obviously. So um, we're gonna head over and um, it should be ready. So let's go. order that we should be taking nine dollars two miles yogurt land and i um was already driving in that direction anyway so that grimaldi's was super easy to pick up super easy to drop off no issues there and um i don't think this one is gonna go up so and like i said i don't think the customer is going to increase it because it's just ice cream so but hey nine dollars for two miles that's doable. Okay, so we're gonna head inside and grab that order. Aren't up to extra two dollars. Okay, it's boost on Uber Eats, but it's no good because usually the boost pay is like um, between like one and three in the morning, something like that, and it's like the other side of town. So, but anyways, this order here, seven dollars three miles on Uber Eats. Um, obviously, we're accepting that. It was another one of those orders where I would just happen to be driving in the direction that the restaurant was in. It's sub, no, not subway, firehouse subs. Um, and I, I just got it, I just got here. So we'll see if the order's ready. Let's go inside. So this place looks good and possibly another uh, restaurant we can pick up at or definitely eat at. Uh, tea swirl, crepe, Japanese and uh, gluten free. So, but we're not picking up there cause it's not open yet. And picking up for Brendan. So we've got a little here. Hello. I'm gonna go ahead and end my video right here. I am home, but what I did want to say before I leave is don't take no tip orders. I did a little experiment to see if customers would tip more on an on by time or maybe even a DoorDash, or I'm sorry, Uber Eats, if you give them really good service, which I always do. I'm always bring my hot bag. I, I come and drop the food off in a timely matter. Um, I'm friendly. So uh, I got two customers that luckily they did um, tip extra, but it's more than likely they're not going to do that. So, like I said, um, we deserve tips. We're using our cars. We're using our um, our gas or wear and tear. We're, you know, we're picking up the food. We're putting it in our cars. And no, it's not hard, but I mean, we're getting it for you. So... Tip your customers if you are, I'm sorry, tip your customers. <laughs> no, tip your drivers if you're a customer. And if you are um, a driver, then do your best to not take those no tip orders because we're worth more. So again, I appreciate you joining me on my channel and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.